Hi guys, uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Peltier cooler devices, which for which uh, the, these two are an example. Um, basically, this is a these are commercial uh, Peltier coolers, uh, generally found in uh, in uh, consumer cooling applications, such as uh, small sized refrigerators. Um, and uh, camping, uh, similar camping applications, those which you connect to a 12 volt battery and, um, and provide some degree of cooling. Uh, um, these basically are uh, PN junctions, and uh, the principle is um, by applying a current to, to these devices. Um, you have the effect of the heat from one surface being migrated to, to the adjacent surface. Um, however, what I'm going to talk to you about is the, um, the other uh, effect that is intrinsic to, to um, this, these same devices, which is the Seebeck effect. The Seebeck effect is, is exactly the opposite. It's the effect of, um, upon creating a, a, a thermal difference uh, between the two surfaces, basically having a, 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 a differential of temperature between um, the P and the N sides of the junction, um, we can observe a, a tension, a voltage on the terminals of the device and uh, the higher the, the difference in temperature the higher the difference in, in voltage that can be observed that is the, the principle behind the, the Seebeck effect uh, on the other hand if um, if the temperature the same way if, if the, the temperature difference is inverted if we have instead of having less temperature in one in one surface, we have more temperature. Um, the voltage will be will be negative. is expected to be negative. If there is no different difference in, in temperature, then we can expect uh, the voltage to be uh, very close to zero. So uh, here we have one of these devices connected to to my uh, multimeter. It's currently set for volts, and uh, if I if I apply heat on one of the surfaces, I would expect uh, a voltage to build up, the voltage reading to increase. So, uh, if I put my hand here, as you can see, the voltage is increasing. Uh, it increases to a certain level, and then you can see that it's starting to, s to slowly drop again. And what is this dropping of voltage exactly? Uh, as we apply heat, uh, this heat is gradually transferred. It actually goes from one surface to another um, until the point where it, it builds up on the other surface. And it tends to equalize. So you, you get to a point where you have uh, also more heat on the other surface and the voltage begins to drop again because as I said before the, the it, as the temperatures become similar um, the voltage decreases this is all about uh, voltage difference as you can see the voltage is, is dropping because the temperature is becoming similar in, in both parts of the device um, going down if on the other hand I, I turn it around and apply voltage and apply sorry and apply heat on on the surface, we see that the voltage increases but increases negatively. We have a negative voltage now. Again, this is the same as I as I said before. Depending on, on the surface that we are applying heat, the voltage is going to be negative. Or positive. So this means that this device, besides 
uh, potentially being a, a cooler. It can also act as a, as a generator. If I ensure that I have a certain uh, temperature difference between the two plates, I effectively can harvest energy from, from the, the thermal difference. In reality, based on this principle, uh, there are uh, generators. Uh, for example, um, uh, the, the RTGs, the radioisotope uh, thermal generators, rely on this very same principle. Uh, they actually um, contain uh, thermal piles, which are basically uh, sets of devices like this. Uh, which then are uh, put close to a heat source. <clears throat> In the case of the, the, of the RTG, uh, a nuclear heat source, basically uh, a plutonium isotope, which constantly generates heat uh, during its uh, half-life. Uh, and the other surface normally acts uh, is a, is a attached to a, dis to a heat sink uh, to allow the heat to dissipate and the temperature difference to, to, um, to be kept. So this is it, the Seebeck effect and the Peltier effect in uh, one single device. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, see you next time.